So how you doing? So I realized as making a bunch of these chainsaw, like the sharpening videos, that I have been doing things all wrong. I feel like I've been misleading people to believe one thing and it's not entirely accurate. So I'm basically gonna start like this new video series on like uh, an advanced chainsaw sharpening techniques basically. And we're gonna go over a few things of what, what's gonna be coming up here soon. Um, for starters, we're gonna be running this 660 today. Uh, this is a Charles Briscoe built 660. And I did sharpen up the chain. It is a Holtz form of chain. Um, it was basically out of the box, but the, the chain just wasn't enough for the saw. So I sharpened it up. I put my angles on it. Um, the, the angles on this chain are different than anything I showed before. Uh, she's sitting at a 55 degree head tilt. Third degree, yeah, 30 degree with, I set the chain tilt on the grinder at 10 degrees. So if you're not familiar, we'll show you that here in the future, but it is a 55 degree head tilt, 30 degree across the top. And I did set the angle on the tilt of the chain or whatever you want to call it to, to 10 degrees. And we're going to run this in today's video and you get to see how the chain performs. Now, one of the things I want to do here in upcoming videos is that I want to start showing how some chains perform better on some saws and some chains perform better on other saws. So that's one of the things I feel like is misleading is because sometimes you can take things too far. Now, what I mean by that is that uh, a lot of it has to do with the chips. Sometimes you have to tweak your setup in order for it to work. And that's one of the things we are going to be exploring in these future videos. But I hope you guys enjoy this. We are changing up the whole series. Uh, today, we're just gonna be running this saw. And the angles I just explained to you on this chain is what we are going to use to compare to a square ground chain that we received. Uh, it is a basic or kind of a standard square grind. And we're gonna see how this chain stacks up against a basic square ground chain. Now we also have a more aggressive square ground chain that we can look at as well here in future videos. Now one of the problems I'm gonna have with making all these videos is chain. Uh, it's gonna take a tremendous volume of chain, so I don't promise you I get these videos knocked out in a hurry or anything like that. It's gonna cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get chain. Now, if you're willing to donate towards that cause, by all means, I would appreciate it. I'm actually hoping to buy a roll of chain. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to buy a roll of this here Haltzformer chain. It's a 50 gauge, 3 8 chain. There's nothing special about it. But this is what I think I'm going to try to buy is a whole roll of this, which means I'm going to have to buy the chain breaker and all of that stuff. But it's really going to be the only possible way for me to get a really good video series together. That way we can try chains and come back to them later, try other ones, come back to them later, compare them. You know what I mean? It's really the best way to do it. Otherwise, I would be sharpening a chain repeatedly at different angles and coming back to that later would kind of suck, if you know what I mean. I'd have to be much better if I had the chain hanging on the wall that I could just come back to. Now, I do have an open invitation to anybody out there who wants to send me a chain that we can compare to. It would be pretty cool, I think. Um, you hear all sorts of people say, well, these angles work best for me. These angles work best for me. Well, that's part of what we're gonna get into in the series, talking about different saws, different saws of power levels, there's all sorts of things you're going to get to see it happen. You're going to get to see when it works, when it doesn't. So, yes, it's going to be quite interesting. So, for today, this is going to be the first video in the series. And uh, if you guys are interested in donating or towards the cost or donating a chain or anything of that sort, I will put my PayPal link in the description and also my Patreon link. Now, if you're not familiar with Patreon, that is a system that you can use to donate in small amounts. Uh, Basically, a dollar a month is basically how it works. You donate one dollar every month, you know, it's good to go. Um, a lot of folks think you can rake in a lot of money through this stuff, and trust me, you don't. Um, you end up, or at least I, I do, I end up spending way more money than I receive in donations. So, you know, it helps, but to be honest, it's not like I'm keeping the money for myself. I'm just putting it right back in to making cool videos. So... If you would like to explore that avenue, 
The links are in the description for you to try. So what do you say we get on with this and we run this 660, make some test cuts, and you tell me how you think this runs. Do you think it's gonna stack up to the square ground? Now, one of the things I think we're gonna to have to compare in the video uh, whenever we do the comparison between this chain and a square ground is the self-feeding aspect. Uh, I notice that there's a bit of a difference between the two styles of sharpening uh, in the self-feeding aspect of the chain. Um, so maybe it'll be different with the more aggressive angled square ground. It's quite possible. But that's one thing to keep and pay attention to. So whenever you were watching me cut with that square ground chain, I was pushing on the saw a lot. And with this one here, I made most of my cuts without pushing on the saw at all. I was relying entirely on the chain to do all the work. There was almost nothing coming out of me, myself, whereas the square ground I was pushing. So that's why we're adjusting the raker on the square grind, trying to get more out of it. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, enough of my random. Here we go. We're gonna run a 660, give us some cuts. Tell me what you think. And I hope you enjoy. Alrighty. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, there's really not much more to say. If you do want to do the donation, you got PayPal in the description and you got the Patreon. The Patreon is the one you use when you want to donate like a dollar a month. It's one of those things that it helps in the long run. Uh, we're talking about $12 a year here, guys. Is it that bad? I don't think it is. Um, and it sure helps go a long way with buying chains, files, whatever we want to do. Uh, grinding stones, all sorts of things. Um, so we're going to be doing more of these comparisons, more of these experiments, and that's kind of, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but it's going to take a lot of cash. So any help you guys can do will be appreciated. Alrighty, I uh, thank you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Later.